For more than 25 years, the smartest 30 minutes on television. From the campus of Wake Tech Community College, get your crania in gear. It's time to play Brain Games. Welcome everyone to the Brain Game Playoffs. 16 teams vying for the title of Brain Game Champion. Competing today are Green Hope High School and Raleigh Charter High School. We have this one. There, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. We got them all around. Right. Very good. Well, this one. Hello and welcome to Brain Game, everyone. I'm your host, Mark Roberts. Thank you so much for joining us here at Wake Tech Scott, Northern Wake Campus. Let's meet the players and get this playoff action started, shall we? Uh, first of all, from Raleigh Charter, we have Eric, Wisdom, and Avni. That is Raleigh Charter High School, everyone. And from Green Hope High School, we have Brian, Ebba, and Justin. That is Green Hope High School, everyone. All right. Remember, in Brain Game, each team will have first crack at three questions in each category. Correct answers in Brain Game earn you 20 points. Incorrect, we take 20 away. If a team can't answer a question, they can pass. So the other team should always be ready with a response. Let's get this Brain Game playoff matchup underway, shall we? Tipping things off with pop-up culture, we're playing basketball, testing our players' knowledge of NBA centers. Time to score big points by naming the right big man. All right, we're going over to Raleigh Charter to begin pop-up culture NBA centers. Considered the best current center, this reigning MVP plays for the Denver Nuggets. Our team's answer is Luka Doncic. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, Green Hope, would you like to try that? Our team's answer is Nikola Jokic. Uh, that is correct. All right, coming back now to Raleigh Charter. He had a long acting career, peaking as Roger Murdoch in Airplane. Oh, and he's also a six-time NBA MVP who won five championships with the Lakers. Our team's answer is pass. Over to Green Hope. Need something, you guys? Our team's answer is pass. Uh, the answer is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And last pop-up culture for Raleigh Charter, his nine-year career with the Houston Rockets was marked by injury. He played for the Chinese national team in the 2000 and 2004 Olympics. Who is he? Need something over there, you guys. Anything? Our team's answer is Jeremy Lin. Uh, that is incorrect. Green Hope, would you like to try that one? Our team's answer is Yao Ming. Yao Ming is correct. All right, now we're doing pop-up culture with Green Hope. This current Lakers center played one year for Kentucky and won them an NCAA championship. Our team's answer is Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is correct. Question two in pop-up culture for Green Hope. Notorious for his low free throw percentage and his breakout role as the genie Kazam, this LSU standout is the spokesman for Papa John's. Our team's answer is Shaquille O'Neal. That Shaq is correct. And last pop-up culture for Green Hope. A member of Phi Slamma Jamma, his team lost the 1983 NCAA championship to NC State. Who was this Houston Rocket Center born in Nigeria? Our team's answer is Hakeem Olajuwon. That is incorrect. Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, the proper, it's Hakeem Olajuwon is what the judges were looking for there. All right. Hey, but you managed to sink a lot of those easier than Shaq sinks the free throws, from what I can tell there. Let's get to our next category, which is headliners. We've got local, national, and international items covering a lot of ground, so you want to work together. Each team will begin with a visual clue, and we're starting with headliners with Raleigh Charter. Ronna McDaniel, shown here, announced her resignation as the head of what group responsible for developing the GOP platform and electing candidates? Our team's answer is pass. Over to Green Hope. Uh, our team's answer, we defer to Brian. Okay. Our team's answer is RNC. Uh, that is correct. Brian is correct. Uh, question two in headliners for Raleigh Charter. Different from the tribe from the northern part of Yemen, what Iranian-backed militia group has been attacking ships and firing missiles toward Israel? Our 
Need something, Raleigh Charter? Our team's answer is Houthi. Uh, that is correct. And last headliners for Raleigh Charter. Winthrop University recently signed two scholarship athletes in what sport that uses bean bags and a slanted board? Our team's answer is Cornhole. Cornhole is correct. All right, now we're going over to Green Hope. He currently represents the 14th district in the U.S. House, but is also the leading Democratic Party candidate for NC Attorney General. Who is he? Need something over there. Anything, Green Hope? Our team's answer is passed. Uh, over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is Jackson. Uh, that is correct. All right, we're back now to Green Hope. Disney announced its large investment in what gaming company based in Cary? They are famous for the Unreal Engine and Fortnite. Team's answer is Epic Games. Totally epic. Yes, you are correct. And uh, last headliners for Green Hope. Over 100 people have reported cancer diagnosis after PCB contamination was found at Poe Hall, a building on what North Carolina college campus? Need something over there, you guys. Team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, NC State, the answer, the Wolfpack over there. Uh, I was glad none of our players left to find a tailgate <laughs> when they found out you can get a scholarship for playing cornhole, because, man, that's kind of interesting. And today's Across America, we're going to need our teams to identify the correct state with clues that focus on state flags. So we'll begin Across America state flags with Raleigh Charter. In May, what state adopted a new flag featuring an eight-pointed star and two shades of blue? Our team's answer is Minnesota. Minnesota is right. Question two in Across America for Raleigh Charter. Which state's flag features a large O and is the only one that is not a rectangle? Our team's answer is Ohio. Ohio is right. And last Across America for Raleigh Charter. In 1992, what state changed the words the Sunshine State on its flag to the Mount Rushmore State? A big change. Our team's answer is South Dakota. South Dakota is the correct state. All right, way to do it. All right, now we're going over to Green Hope for Across America State Flags. In 2024, what state adopted a new flag featuring mountains and a beehive? Our team's answer is pass. Uh, over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is Utah. Utah is correct. Question two in Across America for Green Hope. Many state flags feature eagles, but what is the only state to feature a pelican on its flag? Team's answer is Louisiana. Louisiana is right. And final Across America for Green Hope. What state's flag features a beaver on its reverse side? answer is passed. Over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is Pennsylvania. Uh, that is incorrect. Oregon, the answer we're looking for there. All right. Well, players, we've hit our first break, but keep your thinking caps on. We're playing a windy edition of Word Power plus Arts and Lit. Brain Game will be right back, everyone. <laughs> In keeping with the FCC regulations regarding children's television programming, WRAL's Children's Programming Report documenting our compliance is available for viewing in the station's online public file, located on the FCC's website at stations.fcc.gov. The Children's Television Programming Report is also available for public viewing during our normal business hours, Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. WRAL-TV is located at 2619 Western Boulevard in Raleigh. Welcome back to Brain Game, everyone. After that first round of play, we have Raleigh Charter on the board with 80 points and Green Hope High School with 120. Let's keep this playoff game going. In today's word power, we're looking for words associated with wins. You'll get the amount of letters for each correct answer, and you can earn points by filling in the blanks. So let's begin words associated with wins with Raleigh Charter. The National Weather Service defines this four-letter word as a wind with velocity from 34 to 47 knots. It's eight to nine on the Beaufort scale. Our team's answer is gust. Uh, that is incorrect. Green Hope, you want to take a shot at that? Team's answer is pass. Answer we're looking for there is gale. Gale. All right, we're back with 
with Raleigh Charter for question two. This six letter word is a light wind, named for the Greek god of the west wind. I think the answer is Zephyr. Uh, that is correct. It was also a Mercury vehicle for a while. If you to date me again. Uh, all right, and uh, last words associated with winds for Raleigh Charter. This seven letter word is a warm, wet, westerly wind. A tandem rotor helicopter first used in the Vietnam War and the largest species of Pacific salmon. It's a multi purpose word. Need something over there, Raleigh Charter? Jackson Anything? Pass. Uh, that goes over to Green Hope. Need something, Green Hope? Anything? Q's answer is pass. Uh, Chinook, the answer we're looking for. All right, now we'll do words associated with winds with Green Hope. This seven letter word is a tropical cyclone in the northwestern Pacific Basin, a class of Russian submarine, and a DC Universe supervillain. Defer to Justin. All right. Our team's answer is Typhoon. Typhoon is correct. Question two for Green Hope here. This six letter word is a hot, dry Libyan desert wind. A car made by Maserati and the studio of anime director Hayao Miyazaki. The answer is Ghibli. Uh, that is correct. Good job over there. And uh, last question for Green Hope with words associated with winds. Its offspring is a Judith Krantz novel. What seven letter word is a strong, cold wind in southern France and a car branded the fastest roaster in the world? Uh, need something over there, Green Hope. Team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, Mistral. Mistral is the word we're looking there. All right, good job, everybody. Gail was also Dorothy's last name on the Wizard of Oz for win trivia there. Uh, let's click our heels together and get on to the next category, shall we? It's arts and literature. Some musical clues mixed in with American, uh, with architecture and art history. Be sure you're playing to your strengths and working together, players. We will begin arts and lit with Raleigh Charter. Art and architecture by the Aztec and Maya are considered of what period, named for the time before the arrival of the conquistadors? The team's answer is pre-Columbian. That is correct. Question two in Arts and Lit for Raleigh Charter. The most recently adopted national anthem is the honor of the fatherland in 2023. What country is this? With its capital at Niamey. Need something over there, Raleigh Charter? Our team's answer is pass. Over to Green Hope. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, Niger, the answer we're looking for. And last arts and lit for Raleigh Charter. What is the title given to the principal violinist of an orchestra? They lead the group in tuning before the conductor appears. Defer Eric. Master. That is correct. Good diversion there. All right. Now let's do some arts and lit over there with Green Hope. Georgia's old governor's mansion is an example of what neoclassical style of architecture mostly constructed before the Civil War? Need something over there, you guys? Team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, antebellum, the answer we're looking for. All right, doing question two in Arts and Lit with Green Hope. Haydn wrote its music, but today it's only its third verse is used. What country's anthem is Das Deutschlandlied? Uh, defer to Brian. Okay. Germany. Germany is correct. And last Arts and Lit for Green Hope. Don't worry about it. Just name the metal bars that appear on the neck of a guitar or bass and mark the change of a note by a half tone. What are they? Uh, need something over there, Green Hope? Anything? Um, our team answer is pass. Over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, answer looking over there is fret. Fret. All right. So uh, don't fret. We've hit our next break here. We got a TO coming. We're headed into our last section before the finals. Coming up, we're thinking about the Roman Empire before heading to math class and rocket science. Brain game will be right back, everyone.
Welcome back to Brain Game, everyone. Great playoff action going on today. After that second round of play, we have Raleigh Charter on the board at 120, and Green Hope is in there at 180. And this is also time for substitutions in Brain Game. So, uh, coming into the game for Raleigh Charter, we have Brian, everyone. Welcome, Brian, to the game. Good energy level, Brian. Way to go. Good energy level, good hair. Very good. And for Green Hope, we have Harsh in the game now. That's Harsh. Good job over there. All right, there are just 18 questions left in this regular round. In our next category, Name Game, we're covering a topic on a lot of people's minds, the Roman Empire. Each correct answer will be the name of a notable Roman. So we will begin Raleigh Charter, Roman Empire, uh, with, yeah, we'll begin uh, Name Game with Raleigh Charter. How about do it that way? All right, here we go, Raleigh Charter. Here's the question. He was known as the third of the five good emperors. Which emperor constructed a border wall in northern England? Our team's answer is Hadrian. Hadrian is the guy. All right, question two for Raleigh Charter. What Roman was part of the second triumvirate? Even though he was married to Octavian's sister, he had a famous affair with Cleopatra. Our team's answer is Antony. That is correct, Mark Antony. And last uh, name game for Raleigh Charter. In English, his name is associated with eloquence and guides. What Roman Republican was declared an enemy of the state and executed in 43 BC? Our team's answer is pass. That goes over to Green Hope. Our team's answer is um, defer to Brian. All right. Caroline. That is incorrect. Cicero, the answer we're looking for. All right, now let's do name game with Green Hope. What Roman emperor converted to Christianity and issued the Edict of Milan? I think the answer is Justinian. That is incorrect. Raleigh Charter, would you like to try? Our team's answer is Constantine. Constantine is the guy. All right, uh, question two in name game for Green Hope. He was a leading assassin of Julius Caesar. What Roman politician and general committed suicide after losing the Battle of Philippi? Team's answer is Brutus. Brutus is correct. And last name game for Green Hope. Who was emperor between Caligula and Nero? He was born with a deformed leg and was the first emperor to be born outside to be born outside Italy. Team's answer is pass. Uh, over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Claudius is the guy they're looking for there. All right, uh, done with that. Players, pencils and scratch paper at the ready. It's time to play crunching numbers. You now have twice as much time to answer all of your questions. If you're still stumped, you can always pass to the other team, so everyone should be working toward an answer. Let's begin crunching numbers with Raleigh Charter. In the ordered set of 1, 10, X, 19, the mean is 11. What's the median? Need something over there, Raleigh Charter, anything? Our team's answer is 12. 12 is correct. All right, question two in crunching numbers for Raleigh Charter. Calculate the geometric mean of five and 20. Our team's answer is five. Uh, that is incorrect. Green Hope, would you like to try? Our team's answer is 10. 10 is correct. And last crunching numbers for Raleigh Charter. Determine the sum of the first 70 positive integers. Need something, Raleigh Charter, Brian. anything over there? Our team's answer is 2,485. Uh, that is correct. Yeah, right down to the number. You got it there. All right, good job. Okay, now let's do crunching numbers with Green Hope. Given a cone with a base diameter of 12 inches and a volume of 96 pi cubic inches, how many inches tall is the cone? Our team's answer is eight. Eight is correct. All right, question two in crunching numbers for Green Hope. How many real solutions does the equation two times cosine of x equals x have?
Need something over there, Green Hope? Anything? Team's answer is pass. Over to Raleigh Charter. Defer Avni. All right. Our team's answer is two. Uh, that is incorrect. One is the proper answer there. All right. Last crunching numbers for Green Hope. The number 7,000. Y hundred. 26 is divisible by 11. What is the value of the digit Y? Need something over there, Green Hope? Anything? Our team's answer is pass. Over to Raleigh Charter. Our team's answer is pass. Uh, the answer there is three. All right. Good news, players. You've made it through the always difficult math portion of Brain Game. We're on to rocket science, which means there's only six questions left before the final round. Today, we're covering geology, biology, physics, and astronomy, and we wish you all the best of luck with this. Let's begin rocket science with Raleigh Charter. Profiles of this material start with bedrock at the bottom and move up to the top type found just under the organic layer. What is this material important to farming? Our team's answer is soil. Soil is right. All right, question two in rocket science. The geoduck is the biggest one of these organisms. The razor and the quahog are more common. What term describes all of these bivalve mollusks? Our team's answer is pass. Uh, that goes over to Green Hope. Our team's answer is pass. Clam is the answer we're looking for. All right, and last rocket science for Raleigh Charter. It's the R in Vesper, as well as why Type 1A supernovas explode. What is this effect that occurs between electrons that are close together? Our team's answer is repulsion. Repulsion is correct. All right, time to do rocket science now with Green Hope. Vera. The true one of this genus plant contains a fluid that can be used on skin wounds. What is this fleshy succulent? Allo, our team says allo. Allo is correct. Question two in rocket science for Green Hope. Its first value was calculated by Josef Loschmidt in 1865. Its current name was first applied in 1909. What is the name for the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power? Defer to Hirsch. Avogadro's number. That is correct. And last rocket science for Green Hope. If a pendulum is swinging through a narrow angle, where in its arc will its acceleration be the greatest? Defer to Harsh. Team's answer is at the bottom. Uh, that is incorrect. Raleigh Charter, you want to try? My team's answer is at the top. At the top is correct. All right. Well, we got that out of the way. We're globetrotting to South America. Coming up next, we'll find out how well our players know our continental neighbors to the south. Brain Game will be right back, everyone. Brain Game, everyone. We hope you're playing along on your TV or your favorite device. If you want more information about the 30 smartest minutes on television, go to WRAL.com and type the search words Brain Game for the season schedule, final scores, and to watch past episodes. That regular round of play ended with Raleigh Charter on the board at 240 and Green Hope with 220. Multiple lead changes. They've been going back and forth. This is some good playoff action, everyone. Up to 200 points are now on the table, and it all comes down to our game's all-important final question. Each team determined how much to risk on globetrotting during the commercial break. Teams, here is your final question. Featuring over 900 large stone statues called Moai, Easter Island belongs to what country? Stay tuned, the final answer and final scores when Brain Game returns. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Game, everyone. The teams are locked in with their answers to today's final question, which is featuring over 900 large stone statues called Moai, Easter Island belongs to what country? Uh, let's go to our teams now and see how this came out. Green Hope, please tell us your answer. Our team's answer is Chile. Uh, that was correct. You risked the full 200 points. That brings Green Hope's game total to 420. 
All right. Raleigh Charter, please tell us your answer. Our team's answer is Chile. Also correct. You also risked the full 200 points. That brings your game total to 440. So with that final score of 440, Raleigh Charter is today's brain game winner, everyone. Ooh, ah. Man. How about that? Well, congratulations to Raleigh Charter. That was a great game. Please join us next week when Jordan Matthews takes on Broughton. Thank you for watching Brain Game, the smartest 30 minutes on TV, everyone.